So a lot of times when I talk about the festival, I realize that people think, you know, what does this have to do with me? I'm not mixed, I'm not multiracial, I'm not biracial. What does it have to do with me? Why, why should I donate to a cause like that? And whenever I meet someone like that, I always think about this one moment uh, when I really learned this lesson. It was the very first event I did as a published author. And I'll never forget this because it was January 2010 and it was in a very tiny little town called Chester, Vermont. And even though it was one degree Fahrenheit that day, the Old Stone Church was filled to the brink with some 200 people or something like that. And I was so incredibly nervous. I remember I walked up to the podium and my knees were actually shaking and I thought, thank God, this podium's really big. And then I thought, I need to take a deep breath before I start because I'm just about to fall apart here. So I took this breath, and in this moment, I remember looking out at the audience, and my first thought was, oh my God, these people are never going to get it. They're all white. Well, so I do the reading, and I guess it goes well, because afterwards, I'm signing copies, and I'm talking to people, and probably about half a dozen of these people said things to me like, you know, my granddaughter is biracial. Um, my sister is half Latina. My half sister is half Latina. My sister just married a man from Africa. And I have to tell you, this really rocked my world because I realized that I had made them all quote unquote white people. And in that moment that I did that, I separated them from me and I denied them their history and who they loved and who they knew and what they cared about. And so maybe you're sitting there thinking, what does the mixed experience have to do with me? And I'm thinking, what doesn't it have to do with you? You know, we all know someone or are someone or love someone who's in the mixed experience. I hope you'll donate to the festival, and I hope I'll see you June 14th at the Japanese American National Museum in downtown LA.